Good morning. Just got back from all those fantastic yard sales. And I found so many cute things. And I found some flowers that I just love. This one is so unusual. Look at this one. Kiddos, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And I'm thanking him for it. I saw a short of one of my favorite ministers that I watch. It's Lone Star, I see, Cowboy Church uh, from down in Texas, I think. And he is so good. And he did this short. And he said, you know, keep your heart thankful. And that's how we thank the Lord. We thank him often for his blessings. And sometimes I just say, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. I cannot thank you enough for your blessings. So I'm going to tell you all a story about my grandparents today, if you'll stick with me. Stick with me, kiddos, and watch this. Won't this go good with my white blouse? Why, yes, it does. Like I say, Grandma likes pretty things. And I found these, and I found all the piece. You can't beat that with a stick. Look, there's a purple one. I love purple. And a blue one. Look at this. I'm going to be wearing these. I told those girls that I bought it from, and I did a short with them. I said, you'll be seeing these on YouTube. I'll be wearing them because I love them. They're different from a lot of stuff that I have. There was so many different colors. Let me see here. What else have I got? I think I had a... Let me see. Come on, Grandma. Where is it? Here it is. It is so pretty. Look at this. Now, is that a different color? That's a different red. You know, they have all kinds of reds. And that is different. So, I'm going to have fun with them. But today, I'm going to tell a story to you all about my grandma and grandpa. My dad's mom and dad. And they moved from Appalachia to Indiana. They bought a farm. And this farm, y'all are to watch my stories all the way through. I know you don't, but try it for a change. It might be fascinating. Then again, it might not. I don't know. But I try. But this is about my grandma and grandpa heirs. My mom always called him Old Man Dan. And Old Man Dan and Grandma, they bought a house in Indiana. Well, now, it was a two-story log house made of big old logs. I mean, logs this big. And it had a stairway. And it had two rooms downstairs and one big room upstairs where everybody slept, except Grandma and Grandpa. They slept downstairs in what was like the big living room kitchen area. I'm going to treat my feet. Y'all know I have neuropathy in my feet. And I use the rebuilder. And I run it for 30 minutes. But old man Dan and grandma bought that. And so when we moved to Indiana, we bought an adjoining farm. Daddy did. 100 acres of mainly rocks. I mean, we carried rocks. He would pull a wagon through those fields, and all we would do is pick up rocks so he could plow. I mean, talk about hard work. No wonder I didn't care for the farm. I never did care for hard work. I like easy work. <laughs> you know, like cooking for number three. That's no problem because I got all kinds of cooking stuff. Anyway, here's my rebuilder. They cost about $1,000 now, but I've had this one for 14 years, and it's got like sticky tabs on it. And I just put them on the bottom of my feet while I talk to y'all and tell you about that log house they lived in. Well, we spent many happy hours over there. And Grandma had a cellar. And that's where she kept her milk because they had cows and they milked cows. And that's where she kept her cream. Now, you just turn this on. It's called the Rebuilder. It's good for neuropathy. It really helps keep it under control, keeps you on your feet. And I'm 90, and I'm still walking around the yard sales. And I saw birds this morning in a little birdhouse at one of those yard sales. And that mama and daddy bird was coming in, feeding them babies there. And I said, I got to show this to the kiddos and everybody else. So I did a little short on that. I just did a few shorts this morning. 
I pray before I leave and I say, Lord, direct my path and help me to find interesting things to show everybody. Because it gets boring sometimes. I mean, Friday was boring. James made a safe trip back from Bluegrass, but he said he never saw such crooked roads and so narrow, and he's not going back down there anymore. And I'm glad, because he said he got lost two times on those backcountry roads. He had to stop one lady. She was mowing her yard. Where am I at, and how do I get out of here? But he made it. He made it home. I said, I don't think I'm going to let you out by yourself anymore. But I can't go with him. But I do good directions. But he said the thing of it is, he was so far away from uh, Wi-Fi that he had no GPS. So he was lost. And I depend on the GPS a lot of times. Back to Grandma and Grandpa. So they had this farm, and it was, they had some good land. You know, like River Bottom. They could raise good corn and, and a lot of stuff. And they had a big barn on that property. So anyhow, this big old log house, they decided to tear it down. And you know what? They tore it down and they saved all those logs. And my daddy took those logs. I don't know how he got them over to our farm because it was a pretty long ways. Downhill most of the way though. I think he drug them with a horse. I don't really remember. My brother Norman probably does. He remembers stuff I didn't pay no attention to. Anyway, they, he, they got all those logs over at our house, and they built a barn out of those logs. And that's where we kept our cows, two cows and two horses. And that's where you had to shovel the stuff out of there. You know, you put hay down and for to walk on, and they, of course, they stay overnight, and there's a lot of manure. So that's how you get good manure and stuff to put on your garden. That makes your garden grow great. I like this. So we, Daddy built that log barn, and we had a good barn for many, many years. You know, I bet that barn's still there. Daddy built the house, and sad news is, that house fell in right on the basement. I mean, it just, over the years, it's been a lot of years. My mom moved out of there many years ago, and nobody was there, and I don't know who owns the farm now. And it grew up to trees. It all went back to God. They say back to nature. I guess that's what it is. It went back the way God started with it, I guess. All trees and everything. So we don't go there anymore. But we used to find a lot of mushrooms out there. Good mushrooms. The morel mushrooms. Delicious. Well, Bella, where you at? Kitty, 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 kitty. I call her and sometimes she comes. Where you at, Bella? Kitty, 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 kitty. Get in here and help me finish this video off. She's not in the mood. You know how females are. They're moody at times. And that's a fact, Jack. Well, I'm going to shut up. And it's been fun talking to you. Here she comes. Come here, Bella. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Get up here. She minds pretty good sometimes. Come on. Get up here. Everybody wants to see you. You're a star. There she is. See, she's a good cat. You gotta help mommy do this video. You hadn't been here. She says, well, I'm here now. Don't y'all wish you had a good cat like this? I'm glad I got a good cat like this and I'm missing that one that passed away a week or so ago. My house almost seems empty with only one cat over at James's house. But we've had a lot of fun today hitting all those interesting yard sales. So he's gone to go get something. He bought some table and chairs that he can put in one of his houses. She just has fun flipping her tail in my face. So God bless y'all. Walk that walk where Jesus would be pleased with you. I love talking to you. I'm not bashful. I'm a little outgoing. Bye-bye. Uh-oh, I forgot my glasses. You know what? I just hate to look cross-eyed to you all. It just irritates me. But when I put these on, I'm a happy woman. All right, Bella. Let's tell them all bye-bye. Turn around this way. Bye-bye, everybody.